before we get into anything too exciting in this episode, we're going to take away this item from Lillipop finally. An escape rope, not bad. And I also switched Darunia to have the scope lens instead of the experience share, since he's all, or since she's all caught up with the rest of the party. And I gave the experience share to Wilbur because Wilbur's kind of fallen behind because there hasn't been much use for him. I could have used him in the Liberty Garden, but I'm, I still kind of want to focus on George to get him up to level 22. Anyway. Hello, Internet, and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon White Version. In the last episode, we headed to the Liberty Garden and rescued Victini from Team Plasma. This time, we're going to be exploring pretty much the rest of Castelia City and hopefully heading to the gym. I want to start by heading down to the center pier. Don't know if I actually showed it at all, but you can see Team Plasma's getaway boat here in full view. You don't just get to see like a little corner of it like this. You get to see that it's actually a fully designed thing. Neat looking boat, but I have to say, even as a kid who never got to experience the Liberty Garden when the games first came out, I just knew this boat was connected to Team Plasma. It just looks evil. Anyway. That black boat. What could it be? Yeah, also this guy says something about it. <laughs> when someone is getting under your skin you want to yell at them, scream at the ocean. When you're alone, of course. Why not when I'm with other people? <laughs> My friends would understand if I wanted to scream at the fucking ocean. That's all I'm saying. Alright. Unfortunately, I am recording on Monday, so we still can't get a Castelia cone. And by the time it's Tuesday... I will not be recording, so yeah. Anyway, we want to head up to the street with the Route 4 entrance on it. And head into this building. I talked with a lot of people upstairs. It was fun. Awesome. I'm invited to a party, but the person in front of the elevator wants to pat me down. Or is it just my imagination? Where are you from? Really? You're from New Town. It's a great place. Do you want to go up? Yeah. You don't seem to have anything suspicious. Okay, you can go. So he will not frisk us, but if you are playing as a boy, he will! <laughs> he will not frisk you if you were a girl, which, and I mean, you know what that means. If we have for some reason want to murder anybody at this party, we can do so quite easily. <laughs> Welcome! Welcome to my party! Please enjoy conversations with everyone! Alright. Hey trainer, check out my moves! You gone to the next city yet? I learned this move in the musical over there. Pretty cool, isn't it? You literally stopped moving as soon as I started talking to you. <laughs> ich habe mir nun ein Auto zugelegt! Damit ist die nächste Stadt auch ganz on Orden zum Greifen na. Esse den ich rassel durch mein Führerschein Prüfung. I'm so sorry to anybody watching who speaks German. <laughs> Hello, have you tried a Castilia cone yet? I managed to buy one on Tuesday, but it's very difficult to get. True. Did you see the dress that the supermodel Elisa was wearing? Whatever Elisa wears is beautiful, a stunning ensemble. My boyfriend isn't good at getting out of bed in the morning. In fact, he's so slow getting out of bed that I asked his Pokemon to use Wake Up Slap on him. Is her boyfriend the guy who we talked to a few episodes ago who said that he works hard for his Pokemon? <laughs> because it wakes him up with Wake Up Slap? Oh, your Pokemon are so charming. I want cute Pokemon too, so I can use this. TM45 Attract. Unfortunately, not a very useful move. It uh, inflicts a status condition called attraction on a Pokemon of the opposite gender, or an uh, infatuation. Only on Pokemon of the opposite gender. There is a genderless Pokemon that can learn it, so it always fails. I've asked my Pokemon to use Sing instead of setting an alarm clock, but I can't get up at all. I don't know why. Maybe... Is she cheating on you? I'm so sorry, buddy. Ciao! Ti stai divertendo? No sentirti in imbrazo. Parla pure con ci voi. I took four years of French, but I also failed twice in French one, so 
I'm a little more confident in that pronunciation, but still not super confident, so I'm also sorry to any French s speakers. <laughs> it's hard to get up in the morning after a fun day like today. Why does everybody here talk about their sleeping habits? It's la primera vez que vengo aquí. Pero est precioso pasaje has que me sienta como en casa. La proxima vez... Traere a mis amigos. I know amigos, at least. <laughs> Pretty sure we got the only item you can get here. Yeah, it's just a lot of people you can talk to, some of whom don't speak English. Which is very similar to real life New York. There's actually a lot of NPCs around the world in this game who don't speak English, and that kind of goes into what I was talking about with Lenora, where Game Freak was very much inspired by how New York and Manhattan especially are just sort of a melting pot of a bunch of different cultures. Head to this building. Alright. I want to talk to the scientist. I'm a Pokemon fanatic. I am famous in Castilia too. Oh look, you have a Pokedex. How many Pokemon have you found so far? 38 Pokemon. This is quite a Pokedex. I'm quite impressed, so I will give this to you. An Eviolite. This is a fantastic item that increases the defensive stats of an unevolved Pokemon by one and a half times. This is such a good item that it makes some Pokemon better than their evolutions, including Pokemon like Dusclops. Unfortunately, we don't have Pokemon like Dusclops, but if we wanted to give this to Darunia, for example, that would make Darunia so incredibly tanky that, honestly, Darunia could probably take, like, three super effective hits before fainting. <laughs> It's a very good item. I've considered giving it to Darunia, but I actually want Darunia to have the uh, wide lens for now. And that's all from this street, so let's head down to Gym Street. Which is actually canonically the name of the street with the gym on it. All the streets have names. There's Gym Street, Mode Street, uh... I don't remember the other street names. One of them is just an alley, so I doubt it actually has a name. Let's head into this building first. Nobody on the first floor, okay. What about on the second floor? This is the first building we've seen in the city that actually knows how to count. Nobody here either. Kinda spooky. All right, now all that's left is to head into the gym. Hey, White, I just challenged the gym leader, Berg. He's a seasoned gym leader. He made me work for that gym badge. But for me, bug-type Pokemon aren't much of a challenge. I'm going to keep winning like this against all of the Univer Region's gym leaders. Then I'll head for the Pokemon League and outperform the champion. If I do that, everyone will admit what a strong trainer I am. That will make me feel truly alive. Go off, King. Aha! You're the one who fought Team Plasma in Pinwheel Forest. If I remember, your name is... White. Come to challenge the gym, I suppose. Ah, uh, sorry, but could you wait for a bit? I was informed that Team Plasma has shown up. In fact, come with me. I'm going to the dock at Prime Pier. Prime Pier is the middle pier. Is there also a median pier and a mode pier? And an average peer. I actually think one of those is the average. I don't remember. I haven't been in a math class in like two years now. Jesus Christ, time flies. Come on, this way. Team Plasma. They took this young lady's Pokemon. Wait, is there anything we can do? My Muna. Team Plasma took it. I heard this lady scream and ran after the thief as fast as I could. But this city is so big and so crowded. I'm afraid I lost them. Iris, you did everything you could. But that's so bad! Taking people's Pokemon is really bad. Because it's really nice when people and Pokemon are together. They each have something the other doesn't and they help each other. Iris. Iris. That wasn't Berg. <laughs> Agreed. No fear. We'll get that Pokemon back. Right, White? 
Having said that, finding a person or a Pokemon here in Castelia City will be like finding a needle in a haystack. I spot a gym leader? Last time went so well, I thought I'd grab another Pokemon. Rethinking. I need to get out of here. Wait, let's go. Iris, you stay by that young lady's side. I'm gonna be Bianca's bodyguard. So you go after those bad guys, okay? Oh, Muna, I can't believe it. Here I am, a trainer, and I can't even protect my own Pokemon. I'm sorry. I'm gonna be Bianca's bodyguard. So you go after those bad guys, okay? Okay, you're just repeating yourself, Iris. I thought since Bianca had original text, you would too, but I guess that's too much to ask. Let's head this way. I don't know why, just a sneaking suspicion. This, that way. Mm-hmm. There. Heading toward the gym? He vanished. He, he learned how to teleport. So did I, apparently. Alright. They aren't going into the gym, it looks like. This is definitely the place. No one's here. Not a soul. No other Team Plasma members, nor any of the Seven Sages, are inside. If you think I'm lying, why don't we have a little battle and find out? I I actually know you're not lying, sorry. Don't scare me like that, come on! Looks like our only option is to battle them and go on in. But, but there's literally no one in there. Okay, fine. I don't think you're lying, but I'll beat you up anyway. Oh, please, White, I'll leave that one to you. I could handle all three of them if you want. I mean, I could use the XP on George. Sandile. Okay, never mind. George can easily handle this. So yeah, even though we went into that building and there was literally no one there, we still have to fight these guys because the game wants me to think they're lying, even though I know they're not. These are the first honest Team Plasma grunts we've seen in the entire game, and we're beating them up for it. George isn't going to get a level up from this, but he's so goddamn close. <laughs> Alright. Come on, seriously? All I did was take away people's Pokemon. Come on, all I did was rob a bank. This is bad. Bad, 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 bad. Bad for Team Plasma, or Plasbad for short. It's in my best interest to go to report to the Seven Sages right away, right now, right now, right now, right now. Phew, he got lost. Even with directions from the cross transceiver, I couldn't figure it out. Team Plasma is inside. The stolen Pokemon may be in there as well. Okay, I'm going in. Okay, this time I'll join the fight. Come on, Bianca, you too. Wait, wait, you come too. They're totally gay. Oh. Apparently, these Team Plasma Grunts know how to reality warp. My word, if it isn't the gym leader, Berg. So, what would you say is the guiding principle of Team Plasma, anyway? Take what you want from people. I thought it would be amusing to prepare a hideout right in front of a Pokémon gym, but we were detected more quickly than I imagined. Indeed. No matter. We already have an exceptional base of operations. Is everyone familiar with the legend of the founding of the Unova region? I am. It's the white dragon type Pokemon, right? The truth is this. The white dragon appeared before a hero who sought the true way to knit together a world full of many warring people. This white dragon type Pokemon shared its knowledge and bared its fangs at those who stood against it. Together, the power of this Pokémon and the hero brought unity to the hearts of everyone in the land, and that is how Unova was created. We shall bring back the hero that, and that Pokémon to Unova once again. If we can win people's hearts and minds, we can easily create the world that I, I mean Team Plasma, desires. Here in Castelia, we have a lot of different kinds of people. Everyone's ways of thinking and lifestyles are very different. 
Honestly, there's something about what you're saying I don't quite understand. Yes? What is it? One thing we all have in common is that we all care a lot about Pokémon. Even people meeting for the first time can talk about Pokémon. Talk or battle or trade. Remember your speech at Accumulatown? You were responsible for leading me to rethink my relationship with Pokémon. For that, I thank you. At that time, I made a promise. I swore to myself that I would dedicate myself to Pokémon even more strongly. What you guys are doing... Aren't you going to strengthen the bond between people and Pokémon even more? <laughs> you are quite hard to figure out. A little more intelligent than I'd anticipated. I am fond of intelligent people, you see. You'll enjoy hearing about this. From every corner of the world, I have gathered knowledgeable people for our King's benefit. You could call them the Seven Sages. Very well. We will submit to your opinion and be on our way. That girl over there. Return her Pokémon. Thank you. Mooney, I'm so glad to see you again. Bianca! Why are you thanking them? They take people's precious Pokémon! It's just... I'm... I'm so happy that my Muna is safe. The friendship between Pokémon and people can be very touching. But in order to liberate Pokémon from foolish people, we will revive the legend of Unova and win the hearts of minds of people everywhere. Farewell. What are you doing? Why are you letting them get away? Gah! What do we do if anything's happened to the other stolen Pokémon? It's okay. Thank you, Iris. No one was hurt. More than anything, I got my darling Pokémon back again. Okay, if you're happy. What is everyone planning to do now? Well, it would be sensational to look around Castelia City, but... Don't worry, I'll keep on being your bodyguard. Iris. Mm-hmm, that's great. Iris is a dazzling Pokémon trainer, but maybe not at home in the big city yet. So a little give and take, hmm? People in Pokémon need to help each other out. Also, thanks for looking for the Pokémon. Here, this is for you. Yachberry. Yachiberry. See you. What? Wait! Well then, White. I'll be waiting in the gym. We head up here. There is a smoke ball. This is an item that makes it so the holder has a 100% chance of escaping from wild Pokémon. That's generally affected by the speed stat. And that's it. Next time on Pokemon White version, we will be taking on the Castelia City Gym and finally be done with this city. See you guys then.